Hello. Oh, wait. That's wrong. Hello! Oh, wait. Well, I don't have to do it now. Welcome to Cookie with Unity! That felt weird not saying hello first. Yeah, you should say hello. Hello! And welcome oh. to Cookie with Unity. I'm your host, Max Moreau. With me are Philip Wilson and Jeffrey Hawthorne. These guys are awesome. And it's true, we are. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I, I am blessed with friends. So, um, so what are we doing? We're going to go to the main screen, and we're going to do this thing. So... So we got the escape project. No, what do we have? So we need to check source control. Oh yes. All right. First off, this is important. If you're working on a team, which we are now, I guess. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> because there's a really important file that yeah, uh, super that, important. Uh, Phil checked in to to uh, to the project. So before you start working, when you're on a project, you should check to see if there's any things from other people. So I'm going to fetch from the remotes. Oh, it actually said new commits available. We really don't want to have to merge And we can this see, later. yeah, we definitely don't want to have to merge this. So we can see that he added yo, yo notes yo, and it's this text file. And it doesn't even have a new line at the end of the file. It just says... Yep, that's all it does. It just has one line that says this. Yep. Sweet. I We so need this. So I'm going to hit pull, and we're going to hit OK. And now we will have this wonderful file in our local local repository. It is wonderful. And so now we can just... Uh, it says Yo Notes Yo. How do we find this? I guess it's... Oh, yeah, that's the file. Reveal and find... Reveal it. Oh! How did they even let you do that? My my ignore file must be uh, different. Well, I'm moving this. Okay. What? Did Where we have a document... Oh, I guess we, oh, we're going to move it into a documentation folder. Yay! I don't like things at the root level here. Well, fine. Yeah, it's it, honestly the only reason that I have this. Like normally, I'd have it set up so that it wouldn't even possible for you to do this. Um, but I didn't bother setting up the P, uh, the the ignore file special. I just did the mm. one that's built into GitHub, and it it actually is a really good ignore file. But I like to make it so that nothing goes in this root directory other than folders. Then you don't have to work with the individual files. Also, yeah, oh. you can just ignore or, or not ignore the folders. So where would it go right. if you were using it normally? So um, where would it go? I'd create a new folder called documentation. Oh, oh and I that's see. what I'm doing here. I'm just doing that right now. So, so we'll commit that. This is just moving to documentation, and we're going to push this. Push. So does it see it as a move or as a delete? It saw it as a move. Actually, it's very smart. Um, Git is um, Git's really cool. Actually, there's a lot of things I really like about it. There are a few things that I don't like about it, but um, but most of those are very avoidable. Mm. So uh, things to accomplish on this project, ideas, stuff like that. Yay! So yeah, um, I didn't really know what to put in. There. So first, let's look at what we had in the project real quick. Uh, so let's go to test. This is the one, and what we have is oh, I haven't seen this for a while. We have movement. I think you only missed like one episode or maybe two episodes i don't know but uh we've got movement we can kill enemies we get xp for killing enemies we've got an enemy spawner thing doing stuff when uh we level up we go to the next level and uh it uh it makes us more powerful we do more damage we do more damage and um camera angle is interesting it's not all that interesting, actually. The only reason it looks interesting is because we're on super ultra widescreen right now. See, it doesn't look so strange when you oh, interesting. shrink it in. It's because of the distortion from the uh, from the view frustrum because it's a parallelogram. Oh, I see. So look at they're all just hanging out. They're like, "Hey, why don't you just kill me?" But now I'm now I'm killing one like hit. It's awesome. Of course, their their collider's still on when they die, so we should probably turn that off so that you can shoot through them easier. But and then we can just murder this. Pylon. Does the pi oh the yeah. pylon does die? It doesn't do anything special. What happens if you fall off the level? Um, nothing. You, you can't fall. You're infinitely. Yeah. But you can hit walls, which oh. is cool. I actually do want to make it so that uh, there's slopes and stuff, um, which we'll do just by doing a simple raycast check. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I'm not going to worry about that just yet. All right. There's so much um, groundwork that we need to lay for this, and so That's what how the wheels work? Yeah. What. Um, what uh, Jeffrey was telling me at the end of the last show is like, he's like, man, we're going to have to organize this a little bit better because this is going to be hellacious as soon as we start adding skills and weapons and pickups and all the other stupid stuff. And he is absolutely right. 
And so today may actually be more plan work than it is actually work work. And they're, they're both work, so, so this is important stuff too. And something that we don't cover on the show too often, that green light's scaring me. Are we actually on the main screen? I know the green light's on normally. Yeah, okay, we're on the main screen. I really should turn that off. That would, that would be a good indicator for me. I, I have it set to keep the cameras warm right now, and we could turn that off, and then I wouldn't have a green light, and then I'd know that we were on the screen or not. So. Oh, I see. Might want to do that. Yeah, that seems. Notes for fun. note for future Max. So. Should I write that in the project ideas? No, it's not for the project. Future Max sounds like a VHS upgrade or something. Yeah, it does. Future <laughs> Max. It's the new Beta Max <laughs> in high definition, 420 by 680. Yep, that's what it would yeah. be too. I don't know. <laughs> 420p. That's yeah. yeah. 480p. Yeah, 480p 480 is actually P. yeah. I, I'm sure that I'm sure the Betamax was actually already higher than that. Uh, Betamax was actually a really cool format, but um, it was. But yeah, That's so a different conversation. Though. Yeah, it is. That's the it's a Sony conversation. So um, what are we doing? So we got this thing. So let's plan out a little bit about what we want in the game. And we'll probably have a little bit of arguing and stuff on this, but uh, but we'll see how this actually goes. Gonna so I'm gonna rattling. I'm gonna use your wonderful notes thing here. So yay! Let's add a lot of new lines. Yes, let's add a whole lot of new lines. There we go. And then just check that in. No. Um, okay. So I just meant over the course of yeah. taking notes. Oh, gotcha, I thought you meant gotcha. immediately. Okay. So <laughs> so did I evidently. Our check-in list can just be called the lots of new lines now. It's stuttering. It's stuttering. Apparently. Okay, well, I'm going to note that um, YouTube is evidently rolling out an update or something today because there are people who have, like, their subscriber cams have been updated and they've got some other problems and stuff. If you go to Reddit slash uh, YouTube slash R slash YouTube, you'll find a lot of people complaining about stuff. So it oh. might just be them. It also might be my computer. Who knows? Um, at this point, I'm not ruling it out because I had so much trouble with it last week. So, um so my apologies for the stuttering. Yeah, let us know um, if it keeps going on. We are what. also recording locally, so um, we should... Actually, I should, didn't check my hard drive space. Let me check that real quick. Maybe that's the problem. 107 gigabytes. We're okay. I think you're okay. Yeah. Um, but um, but uh, we do have a local copy, so if the stuttering stays in the final version... Um, my apologies to the live viewers that this is happening. I'm sorry about this. But uh, but if, it, if we have anything to control, it, we will. And what we have as a backup plan is... We record locally, and we can re-upload that after the show if Sounds everything's like if everything's broken. But yeah, so just keep let us know. Yeah, and yeah, and apologies for the yeah. problems. So luckily, we're not saying that much important stuff today. So so this is actually perfect for hey, for it. Everything I say is important. okay. So <laughs> that sounded like a threat. A I'm sorry, people. That wasn't. The stick hacking game that closely follows the. Diablo formula. Loot and XP for the win. All right. So um, let's talk about uh, our systems that we're going to need. So we're going to need a damage system. And our damage system, we may write around this, of course, but I, this is, this is I think, the most important part of the game is damaging things and being damaged yourself. That's, yeah. like, the key core gameplay of the game. So, we're going to need to have, for the player, we need to have a defense rating, attack rating, and um, um, uh, we're going to need weapon modifiers, skill modifiers, and um, and we're going to need a... Okay, so we're going to need those things. For NPCs, we probably need a defense rating. Yeah, we probably need the defense rating and attack rating. We do not need weapon and skill modifiers to be strictly Diablo. You don't have to have those things because characters do not carry weapons in Diablo. Um, this is not true of all Diablo clones, however. Uh, a really good example is uh, Titanfall. Not Titanfall. Torchlight. Or torch, does Torchlight drop have enemies that are modified by their weapons? I, You're talking well, about actually, I don't um, know. Titan I, Quest. I Titan think, Quest, yes. I think in Torchlight 2, oh, maybe it was Titan Quest I was thinking of, 
I know there's enemies that will carry unique items, and you can tell that they're carrying them because you can actually see them. Yeah, I know I that's know, true know on actually... Titan Quest. I'm not sure if that's true on. It Torch might be Light. Titan Quest. Yeah, I was thinking of then. Titan Quest is a really cool game, by the way. It's one of my favorites. Um, but uh, but yeah. Uh, it has the unique aspect, or relatively unique aspect, of if an enemy has a magical weapon, they're going to hit you with it, yeah. which is kind of cool. Uh, it also shows up in their hand, so you're like, ooh, that's a guy to kill! He has a cool-looking sword. And I would love to have that, but I'm we, we're going to have to set some limitations on our system, and I want to... Um, we'll add that stuff later if we really feel like it's necessary, but for the most part, honestly, if Blizzard doesn't think it's necessary, it's probably not. They're really good at Paring down Blizzard to... actually does have uh, weapons in oh, yeah, Diablo 3, but they aren't... They aren't used by the NPCs no. ever. Um, and actually, I think their attack and defense rating... No, that's not true. Their attack and defense rating is based on the enemy, but I'm sure it's modified by the uh, by the um, uh, levels. That's the other thing they're going to need. They're going to need a level. And this is going to be a level. And the level will modifies skill levels... Modifies um, skill levels. Okay, modifies skill levels. Modifies yeah, I'm defense sure it's YouTube at this point because and attack. And then this one modifies just defense and attack ratings. Ratings. All right. Um. So let's look at skills. I'm just we're just gonna skeleton out some stuff here. Um, I have a question about damage rating. Sure thing. Or damage system. Are we gonna have different damage types? Oh, there should Very be. Very good question. There should be. I think we're gonna come back to that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put for future use slash expansion. Enemies carrying we slash using weapons. Um, uh, damage types like Is that for fire enemies? slash water, Would but with uh, computer equivalents. For enemies and player, right? Or is that not both? Yeah, that would that would probably affect both. <laughs> no um, damage. This, oh, this <laughs> also awesome. means we'd need uh, 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 defense uh, ratings per damage type. Yep. We're probably not going to do these things on the show. I'm going to just tell you that right now. But yeah, that's I'm throwing that down there. Um, skills. So I wanted to do something a little bit different with the skill system um, because... I was playing Diablo 3, and I, I liked the way they had laid everything out, and, and I, we, we're never going to have the luxury of the amount of testing that it oh. takes to actually make and that happen. And development time? And, and post-launch development time, for that matter. Um, so, so what I want to do, though, is a little bit different. So, like, in Diablo, you had kind of a set of skills. So in Diablo 2, you just had a set of skills, and you would just level them up. And then they later added synergy bonuses, which I thought were a really, really good idea. Because it made it because in Diablo 2, um, once you got to a certain level, it didn't make sense to do anything but respec and just specialize. Um, but um, when they added synergy bonuses, all of a sudden you didn't feel like you wasted your previous points because they were affecting other skills as you leveled them up as well. Um, so I I like synergy bonuses. Weren't synergies in long before respecking? Yes, they were, oh, okay. and they were the solution. And actually, I they made it so I didn't even feel I needed respecking at that point. But then they added respecking too. So um, I like synergy bonuses. Um, respecking was only a few years ago. I I want to <laughs> separate. It? Yeah, I know it's crazy. They were working on that <laughs> game, game for years. Or it's whatever, insane. Or... Yeah, it's not ninety five, but it was it was, was two thousand. Ninety eight. No, 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 it wasn't Ben. I thought the expansion was two thousand. It was around, around ninety nine or two thousand. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I like synergy bonuses, but we may not do it. But we might not have them. Um, I want to kind of separate... I want it to be more like a skill builder system. And I know this sounds like we're adding a lot of complexity, and we might be, and so this might get scrapped. But what I'd like to do is make it so you can choose the type of attack. Like, have a slot for attack type, which, which determines... The behavior 
of the attack examples pulls short range melee um, long range uh, ray cast long slash short range range projectiles um, special um, things like bounce shots um, whirlwinds maybe pets pets, pets. I like pets on those games and then you combine that uh, slot you combine this with a slot for for um, and there might might even be like two slots for the attack type so you might be able to like modulate these things like make something that that spawns a a ball that then explodes or something and the, or something like that yeah um, slot for um, for damage or damage types um, and what, what I mean by this is like obviously in the case where we don't have damage types this seems like it's useless but um, I there's a lot of skills in Diablo 3 which you trade off you can you can modify the skill to be more aggressive like you'll choose something that, that like okay this doubles my damage and causes enemies to burn or you might choose one that doesn't do as much damage but also protects you a certain percentage mm -hmm. so this is more like um, uh, th this is uh, balance between attack and defense um, damage types if Slash when we ever have them, they add so much. They add so much to the game that we might actually have to have them. This is a lot like Path of Exile, kind of. Yeah. Except with yeah. specific slots instead of slots that allow you to put. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I'm and honestly, I'd, kind of I'd like game. to have it be more flexible, but I don't want to add to the point where we can't keep this together. Um, the when you have the slot set like this, it the main thing is it saves us is from testing. Like, there's going to be combinations that break in ways that we can't predict if you can just like really get things together, and that requires a lot of testing, and we do not have the luxury of testing. Um, so, ch -ch -ch. all right, let's start with that. Let's actually start defining how the skills modify. Okay, let's let's talk about. Um, Let's look at this from a higher level now and kind of think about how these are connected. So, um, connections. Um, attack, all right, so levels. Each level increases um, attack and defense ratings. Um, yeah, that's... Um, each level may also modify skills in some way. Um, my initial thought is simply Diablo 2 style, um, uh, um, Synergies? yeah, this, it's actually just, uh, 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 skill levels. So you get like a the skill level each, funny. yeah. You get like a skill level each level, and then you can apply that to whichever skill you like the most. That makes sense. Or modifier. So, so like you might uh, might apply it to your long range. Oh, so it doesn't attack. actually modify the skills. You get a point. Yeah. To place in one of the skills. That yeah. You want to put it in. Yeah, okay. something like that. Place the point where you want it each level. Um, I'm gonna actually put the synergy bonuses down here. I do want them, but they're really not that important. They're not really that hard either. I guess that's true, but... Um, so, each level increases attack and defense range. Each level may also modify skills in some way. My initial thought. Okay, so... Uh, so... For NPC and player... For player... Um... Uh, for enemies, each enemy should have a different, should be 
weakable to have um, each image should be too equal to have uh, different um, amounts of attack slash defense per level. So we can make tougher enemies that spawn at the same level um, or balance attack like heavy attackers versus heavy defenders type things. Yeah. Um, let's see. What else? So um, so we're going to kind of cross-reference this. Um, we, we may reorganize this as we go. As I said, this is this is our sketch sheet. This is it says notes, right? So um, yep. we're gonna do um, uh, attack slash defense ratings um, modified by level um, modified by passive skills. Uh, All skills gonna be active. Player. Modified by level, um, yeah, uh, skills slash passive skills. skills. Well. Yeah, I forgot to mention like passive skill system slash slots. Look at it go. Could be defensive skills as well. Yeah, yeah. Skills, passive skills, or attack skills, or anything like like. There's even like hybrids in in Diablo three. They have like skills that you put on, and while they're on, they give you a passive, but you can also hit them to with a cooldown to pump yep. what, what they do. Um, I'll have a player. Level, skills, passive skills, equipment. Equipment. Oh, I completely forgot about equipment yeah. for a minute yeah, there. Too. <laughs> Loot! It's important. Um, How about one-use items? Any buff items or anything like that? They don't really have those in the Diablo games, do they? They don't, but I kind of like the idea, like like tabs from, from Chrono Trigger, like where, where you well, get like a speed like tab a, or something that I just permanently ups. I would say a temporary ups. one. Oh, a temporary one, Personally. Okay. Okay. Well, Diablo 2 had all of the potions. Do they have the potions? Yeah. So they don't in 3. Um, 3 actually, I found out it has magic potions. Did you know that? I didn't even know that. I found one. No. I found, I found a, the potion of Kool-Aid. And it, it makes it so that you can break through walls when, when you drink it. I'm not even kidding about that. I don't believe that. It's spelled K U L E or something. I have some. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what I. I have some unique weapons in Diablo Three that were taken out in one of the patches. Like they were taken out of the drop tables, but mm -hmm. they're still in the game. But I can't remember what they are. They're absurdly stupid items, though. <laughs> but I ended up picking. I ended up trading for them. Oh no. Nice. <laughs> just to make sure that I'd have them. <laughs> That's awesome. I can't remember the what future. they are though. Um, why don't you just say them. permanent slash temporary items? Permanent slash temporary um, items. Oh, one of them items. was a rainbow or consumables. sword. Consumables. Consumables. Oh, one nice. of them is a rainbow sword. That I is what, what I oh. would use all the time. A burger. <laughs> a rainbow sword. A I burger. Like one of them is a burger. I think it's a weapon. It might be a shield. If I, I could remember. use a rainbow sword, then I'd pretend I was Chrono all the time and everything. I'm glad. I'm glad we've come back to Chrono Trigger already. In three seconds. Yeah, it was like, oh, you can have tabs <laughs> from Chrono Trigger, and then you're like Rainbow Sword, and I'm like, oh, Chrono Trigger. <laughs> I, I I made that sh rainbow shell into a rainbow sword. It's awesome. It's so cool. So where are game we plus on items or something? We're 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 kind of looking at uh, cross weapon connections and stuff. So levels each level increases attack and damage. Okay, uh, to equal damage damage attacks modified by um, modified by enemies. Um, Base uh, per level increases of attack slash defense tweakable. What's funny is the potions in that's different from being twerkable. The <laughs> potions in Diablo two were actually kind of useful. Like the thawing potion actually gave you a bunch of. Like oh yeah. Ice resistance for a while. Well, that's the, like the idea. That's why I was like temporary consumables and yeah. things like that, right? Or the like, antidote like, also give you a bunch but of like you could do it like but I don't think really anyone cool. really knew that. And so what's cool them. about oh, yeah. this is we could have like interesting <laughs> concepts like like computer based concepts or like a temporary like yeah yeah exactly thing like thing that a, would divert your attack like or so a, they like they they start attacking it's a semaphore like, or yeah. or a uh, or let's see what what does have you played Path of Exile? potions in there, those are really cool. They're also your currency. They can give you 
Everything is your currency in that well, game. Well, the parts are your currency. But <laughs> yeah, you can everything. you can break up the potions into currency. <laughs> everything is currency. <laughs> All right. But they have like, well, the potions are. What else? You gain uses by killing enemies, and then they also have like different stats for oh. defense or offense or damage. And that stuff. sounds pretty cool. All right, so we have a mention here of skills and That's passive skills, cool. which kind of includes this, but I'm going to put it separately because of the second portion: buffs slash debuffs. Uh, this is important uh, and something that, that it's, it, we would want to c- take into account. We might have enemies that have skills that lower sk- lower our abilities, and we might have skills that lower enemy abilities. So Can we go Super Saiyan? Can we go Fierce Deity? I don't see deity? why not. All right. I, I prefer Fierce Deity. I'm glad that... Okay. Wait, you know about that? Like, I thought you didn't play through Majora's you're, Mask. You're or... a fan of Majora's Mask. That's awesome. No, why would you say that every time that we... He's always oh, you are one of Majora's. Yeah, I'm, I'm the guy who That's likes awesome. Majora's Mask. That's super awesome. I'm so glad. I'm sorry that I forgot that. That's freaking awesome. Oh, I, I Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, I liked Twilight Princess. of Time, I Three, like the Link to the Past. I think uh, upon and retrospect, Okami. I will Those say are some that of my favorite Zelda games. Let's, let's just spend the la- last thirty minutes of this episode waxing nostalgic about the greatest games in history. You know, Okami uh, is one of my favorite Zelda I games think, too. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so much! Oh, it's so much. Okami is one of his favorite oh, yeah. Zelda games. It's so good. I would say though, it's more I, I Zelda than Zelda. Really do like the third Zelda now. In retrospect, I used to be like. Oh, a, you didn't like Ocarina it as much. Oh, oh, I supporter. loved that one all and the way through. I think that it's aged better. Well, that's now. that's because it, he that's because Link doesn't have three po- three polygons for a nose. So. Additionally, Link Between Two Worlds is real good. Although, ironically, he has no nose in the in the Link Between Two Worlds. In, in, no, in three. It's, oh, he doesn't. Yeah, have a he nose. doesn't. No, have a just, nose. Yeah. <laughs> but there Link Between something... Worlds, fantastic. Yeah, there was something timeless about the art in a Link to the Past. Oh, yeah. For some reason, it just good. looks good today too. It's real good. Two okay. games typically, you know, do better. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna put us back on all right, track. All right, all right. I, I am going. That's to out put of us character. Back on That's track. a little out of character. I don't. All right. What my world is just flipped upside down. Shattered. Get back to it. <laughs> all right. So buffs slash debuffs. Buffs <laughs> slash debuffs. Actually, I'm just gonna say debuffs. And I'm actually just going to say debuffs here because really the buffs should be in your skills passive skill section. That's that's part of it. I'm just going to but then how can you close. buff your your frost resistance? And it should be in well equipment yeah. or skills slash passive skills. But that's an item. Or well, an it's item if it's a consumable. Aha! Aha! Okay. It's in there. Yes, I like that. Okay, good. 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 All right. Good. So attack Good. defense ratings. Um, what else do we have up here? We had weapon modifier, skill modifier. Okay, that's basically what we're saying down here. I just wanted to kind of break it out. We didn't actually put health in. In uh, oh, we didn't. Wait, no. Yeah, we have a section for levels. All right. So um, so attack rating, defense rating determines okay so do we want to have so let's let's sketch out this is not going to be what we're using in the final version i guarantee it there's no way that it can be right on the first time on this thing we're going to sketch out an equation for for our damage let's just sketch it out and see how it plays for a second in our heads here so damage i'm going to go with player damage because that's more complex Player damage Demise. equals um, something like base damage plus or times. Put an underscore actually, so I know base and damage are the same variable. Base damage. Base damage. <laughs> time. Camel case. Level. Base damage times level. Sure. Okay, I like that. Um. Plus equipment. So, um, plus that equipment factors into base damage. So, so basically, the does it though? But so does level. All right. So let's let's do this one. No. So we need a base base damage, damage <laughs> equals. We're we're gonna we're gonna do this. Equals level plus um, equipment um, pl- plus. Any other bonuses, skills, etc. They would apply before everything. So else? yeah. 
So base damage plus base damage. So so we're, uh, we're going to... Um, the reason I'm doing plus to base damage again here is because we're going to multiply the second one by a ratio with the attack rating. And so you'll always be able to get some damage through, but um, you will get considerably more if you have a good attack rating versus their defense rating or something. All so right. this is just, and as I said, this is a sketch. So base damage times um, attack player attack rating divided by enemy defense rating. Um, and then in base damage, I'm also going to do plus... Okay, so so the thing is, equipment... Alright, so I'm going to call it level damage bonus plus equipment. So this is actually going to be equipment bonus uh, with random uh, bonus plus damage bonus, level bonus. So I'm going to just mention here equipment bonus bon um, equipment damage equipment damage um, is, uh, is a range. So there's a random roll involved. Think three to seven damage. So when this cup feeds into this equ equation, we've already done the whatever the random thing we've done to it. So plus we do level damage bonus, so this is like a bonus that just goes up each level. Yeah. Um, plus, I don't know where that other plus came from, plus any other bonuses. And then base damage plus base damage times attack uh, player attack rating divided by enemy defense rating. Um, maybe we should do it in reverse. Maybe it shouldn't increase the damage. Hold on, let's let's look at this. So what if we did minus base damage? We reverse these. So what this would do is, if the enemy attack, if the enemy defense rating equals the player def attack rating, we would do zero damage. That seems ridiculous. Yes. Yeah, I, I like it better the other way. Feels like you get give more of a chance as a player. Yeah. Well, that's I think better. we could we could actually make the enemy like that. Just make it so like yeah, you can nullify an enemy if you if you can defend against their attack. You know. I kind of like that. I like yeah. being powerful versus the enemies. Um, that's something that happens in Diablo quite a bit. Um, we're we're not planning on multiplayer at all, by the way. So so if you're thinking that we're doing a multiplayer game on this, we're not doing it. Um, we, I reserve the right to come back to this for multiplayer once Unity Five has multiplayer. Hmm. But uh, I'm not touching it before then. I'm so the player attack rating over enemy defense rating is that clamped? So um, define clamped like a, a high a high clamp. So if we if we can't have ridiculous like if oh, the enemy defense rating should... is like zero. I think you should totally be able to ridiculously. Kill I think enemies. you should be able to too. Like I think if you run into a level one enemy as a level like forty seven, which See, you probably won't have Diablo, happen. Diablo Diablo gets around this by having the enemy levels yeah, not yeah, matter. Yeah, exactly. They're always whatever level you are. Yeah, yeah. Which we might do, but at the same time, I really like in Diablo two where you kind of go back to the earlier areas and you, just and you can just crush. Yeah. That's like the what is it like Earthbound or to bring it back to Chrono Trigger? Yeah, Chrono Trigger just or Earthbound. New, well, except for Chrono Chrono Trigger, honestly. You're crushing Chrono the moment Tigger. you come out of that town. Like, you're just crushing this. But Chrono, actually, Earthbound is my favorite of all of them. When you meet lower enemies, it just instantly kills them. You don't oh, even go yeah. to a battle. That's just freaking like, awesome. Oh, you get they try to run from you, and then you just get a little green. You win, and then it goes away. <laughs> and you get experience. Yeah. So what? So how is base damage... Um, I mean, if your attack rating is equal to the enemy defense rating... Yes. Then you're going to be do dealing double, double damage. damage. Yes. So if it's if so, the have... enemies would have double life. Hmm? <laughs> the enemies have could have life. double life. So so the enemies would have. Would you think? Would you think that the, in the case where the ratio is exactly even, that it should just be the base damage? Well, no. I'm I'm just wondering. So if the ratios are equal, is that like? 
you're fighting enemies that are about your level. Yeah, yeah. So in that case, it means you're dealing double damage to enemies. Your yeah, level. I guess that's true. We probably could just and do this. Yep, I agree with that right there. So this will do. We might want to have a minimum uh, damage though, like. Yep. Because there Maybe. will be a point where it gets crazy. Otherwise. All right, I'm going to write it down just so that we remember it. Criticals, those are important. Criticals slash critical rate. Well, then we could do a clamp of like 0.1 F or something, so you always yeah. do at least 10% of your base damage. Yeah, something. that's what I was thinking. It's just like a clamp. Um, I'm not doing missing. I don't believe in it. Um, I think that if you if you apply an attack in an action RPG, it should apply the attack. Um, but what if you? What if you're? Uh... I I will do full full damage. Like if, if an enemy manages to defend 100 percent against you, that's we'll we'll have that, I guess. But okay, that sounds right no. to me. Or maybe have... or maybe some base damage. Uh, Honestly, maybe. I don't think you should miss in the action RPG. If yeah. you actually get a hit on an enemy, like if you have a projectile that hits the enemy, exactly, it should you be kill a hit. the enemy. And if you miss, you missed. So if you swing and miss, it's a swing and a miss. So. Um, swing and a miss. A swing and a miss. I'm going to check in what we've got so far. And I'm going to... Look at all them notes. Yeah. Uh, what happened to my thingy? There it is. Look at all them notes. Boo. Commit. Push commits immediately. Yeah, to Look allow you to miss. All them them and allowed enemies to miss. But then Diablo 3, they kind of screwed it up by going way beyond in the opposite direction so that if an enemy aimed at you, then their projectile would follow you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You oh, yeah, I've had it. that happen. <laughs> yeah, that and reminded me of uh, Even if it looks like it Ultima misses, Online. it can still hit you. Oh. Because they, like, planned it out. Oh, beforehand. so it's like siphon filter. I don't know if that's still <laughs> the case or if they patched that out because everyone hated it, so, but it was like that as long as I was playing. So it. siphon filter Omega Strain, this is an interesting piece of trivia. I just have to say it. Sorry. Um, you aren't. So. It did a roll, and then it would fire a projectile. And the roll would determine whether you hit or missed. It would send that roll to the server. And the firing was influenced by it. So if you missed, it tried to fire away from the dude. But the hit reactions and bullet uh, damage and the blood and all that stuff were tied to bullets actually hitting. Like, we had a collision system. We just didn't use it, yeah. except for those things. So so basically, you can see a bullet miss you sometimes, and you get hit by it. And you'd see bullets hitting you really harshly and not take any damage sometimes. So it was, it was, <laughs> it was humorous. It worked you, actually well from a de- networking perspective, though. Did you check in your change? I did. Mm-hmm. So you have to fetch. I you have to fetch. Wanna fetch. Well, oh, it'll... criticals. <laughs> criticals reminds me of something Cancel. that I saw a video of Path of Exile. Oh yeah. Where the Boom. top. Look at all them notes. It was like, thank you. The four people playing together were all in the top fifteen. I think one of them was ranked one, and another one was ranked three or something. Oh nice. And. Um, a Coke. bunch of them, or no, it was eight people playing, and I got excited about the code. Like <laughs> five or six of them were in the top fifteen, and like four of them died because an enemy, a boss that they were fighting, died. Yeah. And then one of the random uh, trash mobs cast corpse explosion on the boss's body, and got a critical. And so it ended up doing like fifty thousand damage to everyone who was within range. Oh, wow. That's crazy. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. That's amazing. <laughs> they Especially for that game. They Holy. didn't know what had happened at first until they were checking the output <laughs> logs. <laughs> and they were like, "Wait, how did all of us die?" See, real developers use debug.log. It, it happens. I know, it, it, it's, just, <laughs> it's true. It does. It does. Well, no, that was just the combat. Logs yeah, yeah. For okay. In game. All right. Never mind. Real developers do use. Um, so, per level bonus. Actually, so I want to talk about something real quick. So, level damage bonus. Um, I'm thinking that we've done this slightly wrong. So, the problem with this is if we ramp up the damage on the weapons, like your, the later levels of weapons have a lot of damage, if the per level damage bonus is just a number or even a exponential <laughs> ramping number, yeah. it might not be appropriate. What we probably should make the per level do- bon- damage bonus is actually a percentage bonus. So like 
120%, and you just add like a certain percentage each level. Okay. That way, that way, if you're scaling your equipment damage, you get full use of that with your level. Like you don't just you don't end up in a situation where you don't even care about your level after a point because your equipment matters way more. Oh yes, that makes so, sense. I think that might maybe that should be tied to the skill. Like each skill has a percentage based on your level. Ooh, maybe. Because oh, the skills, um, some of the skills, like if they attack a large area. That's a good point. Then you'd want them to do a little bit less damage. That's a good point. Could we do both? So yeah, you, you could, could have like a, a percentage, percentage, so like you could have a, a one fifty or on yeah, exactly. Where the skill does like fifty percent damage or something. Skills need. Um, Percentage modifier to balance um, AOE slash DOT with uh, direct damage. Percentage modifier bonus percentage. Right. So uh, per level bonus percentage equals 10. Um, actually, let's make it 0.1F. 10%. Um, private. Oh, wait, this is float. Private float. Um, per level damage bonus percentage. Private float, um, uh, uh, level bonus, damage bonus percentage, damage bonus percentage equals 1.0F. So what this will do is we'll just add that to it. Um, damage bonus percentage. This will actually want to make public. Public static. Let's do it all the way. So we can just get it. Yeah, we're using the accessor for the other thing. Let's just keep it that. Current level, max level, XP. Um, add XP. Oh, we are using a static for this. Okay. Alright, so what we're going to do is um, add XP instance at level plus plus. I'm going to create a new thing called public. Um, actually, yeah, we'll make it public. I don't care. Um, static void. Float. Um, void. Oh, wait, you don't you, know what I'm going to type. Is, no, apparently not. Um, uh, level up. Power up. up. All right. Level up. You know, honestly, I just realized, you know, as much as I like Altered Beast, and as, as great a game as I really thought that was at the time, and I actually still think it's a good game, I actually think that a lot of people probably don't know that game. Really? Because I've, I've realized that there are games, there are people that don't know Contra. That is and sad. Contra is a way more known game. Did you I really think, say that? Did you say <laughs> that? I really just say that. Silly? No, I mean no. him. Oh, did you say that, silly? You know what Contra is. Mm. <laughs> I wish I had the camera pointed at him because that face was pretty incredible. Yeah. It was very uh, um, <laughs> ambiguous. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how to react to it. I was just like, is he just saying that because he wants to say that? Or is he saying that because he really just means he doesn't know what the Contra is? Instance contra. dot damage bonus percentage. The wavy beam. Very hard Nintendo game. Wavy beam. Per level bonus percentage. Instance. It's kind of like a shmup. Uh, per level bonus event. But percentage. you actually control the dude. Semicolon. Actually, let's just do. Well, just in case we need it. 
Because we might have, what, what did you pick up an item or, or we want a, a quest to just give you a Feels level. Feels right, hypercolon so. is missing. Cy semicolon. Hypercolon is missing? Boop! Oh, thank you. Yeah, I wanted, I was just looking at it. I was looking at Ooh, it. Low balance, who would have guessed? Oh. Maybe someone will donate because of that. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah, donate, Patreon. You can donate. Mm -hmm. Cooking with Unity. You can just go there right now if you wanted to. Buy Phil's game. Buy Phil's game, yes. No, no. no. Donate to Cooking okay. with Unity. You can buy my game at the end of the show, but you should donate to Cooking with Unity right now. All Run. Right. Don't walk to your nearest computer. <laughs> And go to Patreon. Why would they have to run to their nearest computer if they're watching the show? They could be watching it on a TV. Oh, I guess that's a good point. TVs do that now. And don't they? run. God, don't toasters run YouTube these days. It's run, crazy. So don't walk. All right. Go to cookingwithunity.com. Actually, go to patreon.com. Patreon.com. Slash cooking with unity. All right. Uh, that's enough plug. So uh, we've got 10 minutes left. So I just was sketching some of stuff out here. So we've got uh, per level dam damage bonus. Bonus percentage, damage bonus percentage, uh, current level, max level. Um, so let's see here. What else do we have? Okay, so we need attack rating stuff. So we're going to just stub some stuff in here. So we need um, public um, int per level damage or per level attack rating increase equals. I'm just going to get 10 right now. Um, public, um, probably int per level defense rating increase equals 10. We're probably not going to have different classes, but different classes could have different ratings and stuff theoretically in a game. We're not going to deal with that. We're going to have, we're going to pretend this is like Diablo 1 with regards to classes where... Yeah where even if we had different characters, they're going to be effectively the same. Yeah, they, they were all determined by... Um, they by they had starting stats. Kind of weapons, that was the only... Basically. Yeah, they started yeah, with different right? weapons and slightly different stats, and then you immediately built them into whatever you needed. So The mage started with a spell. It was horrible, actually, though, because the mage... Actually, the mage starts with a spell, but he doesn't start with regenerating mana. And he starts with two potions for mana instead of health. He has no health potions. And so he's actually a really tough class to start. Um, yeah, but all you need is energy shield. You don't even need to level up. I guess that's true. I don't know. I forgot about that. So... Those videos of people killing Diablo at, like, level 3 and stuff. Yes. All right, so per level attack rate increase, we're going to have to have a public int um, attack rating. Actually, these ones we want to do hide in inspector on. Ah, well, let's leave them. Actually, let's, instead of using hide in inspector, let's make sure to make this so it's more useful. Let's use um, a label. No, uh, what is it called? Uh, do I have to f look up my own notes on this thing again? Um, Maybe. System. No, nah, it's not a system. It's just directly. To... All right. Um, oh, header. Hmm. Yeah, header. So this is going to be... Um, so... Header... Uh, week variable... Header um, in in game variables. This um, I like doing this. A we haven't actually done this on the show before, um, but I like the idea of doing this better than um, than just hiding these because sometimes you want to be able to see and change these values. So like we might want to change our level or we might want to change our attack rating just dynamically mm -hmm. just to see what happens and having them missing from the inspector kind of makes that hard to do but we also want to be able to tell you that these things are not really tweak values like you shouldn't be just changing your level you should be changing what the per level bonuses are and stuff so yeah that makes so, sense and um and as such i'm going to go ahead and make um public and 
XP, and I'm going to change it just to be called XP. Actually, let's uh, refactor, rename XP. There we go. XP, I don't do camel case because it looks terrible. Oh, come on. Looks like someone's dying. <laughs> I guess that kind of does too, no, but that the other one looks like less like it. No, that just looks like really excited and sticking their tongue out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put EXP. Yes, I guess we could do EXP. No, I can't do it. Case. I can't do it. I can't. I can't. Ah. It's bad. This is all uppercase too, though. But oh well. Um, all right. So XP. So that, now, if we hit save on this and look at our like player, I think the player is what owns this thing. We've got this nice little sectioned out thing. Have you seen this before? It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is nice. That is nice. All right. So, tweak variables, in-game variables. Um, got five minutes left. What should we do for the last five minutes? We could talk about well, that, Chrono Trigger. This happens all the time. Is all of that in that does worry the me. level up? Um, is Definitely. all of which in... Or how are you planning on getting those variables? I'm assuming that's why you made it public. Made them public. Yeah, yeah. So we can get at these things during the game. Yeah, so attack rating is going to be your current level times the per level attack rating. Can increase, enemies right? attack? Yes. And that's going to be set in level up? Or enemies can attack, yes. Okay. Um... Oh yes, let's go ahead and do that. Why not? Um, that was what I was going to do next, and you totally nailed it. Attack rating. Nailed it. Equals um, one. I guess we can use these as the base values too. Why not? Attack rating starting out at ten. Out that of control. Means, that means out that of control. Two, you're going to double your effectiveness. Yep. Out of control. I would start it at one. <laughs> okay, well, you you can make your <laughs> game some other time. Two, you're, you're level two. <laughs> you're gonna be ten times more powerful yeah. because you gain ten points and level no, one will I'll just, just be get, awful. I'll just double it every time. Double okay. it. Bam. Double it. Bam. Then the numbers start getting crazy. Double it. Bam. Yeah, but they'll get crazier if you start with ten. Start with it actually doesn't get that much crazier. Is the funny double part? Double it, <laughs> but <laughs> double it. Start at double it. It's like converting from start at twenty. All right. From uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit, you just double it and add thirty. Right? That's the way you do it. <laughs> double it and add thirty. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do when I'm check when I'm tweaking game variables. Are you kidding me? That's like it's like it's not moving fast enough. I double know. it, add thirty. I know. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> So, um, That's really not how you convert Fahrenheit no, I know, Celsius. I know, I'm just horrible. gonna throw that out there. I don't want the internet to think that I really think that. I know that they didn't think that. I would hope so. Everyone knows that's how you convert to Kelvin <laughs> from Celsius. <laughs> <laughs> no, from Fahrenheit. No. <laughs> What's the version of Kelvin for Fahrenheit? Double it minus thirty. <laughs> Alright, actually let's go ahead and give it a shot to see if I can just in the last five minutes if we can do what did I do here? What's wrong? That oh static make numbers. Any sense. <laughs> Rankine? Is that right? Rankine? Rankine? How do you how do you pronounce that? Rank, uh, rank, I don't know. Rankine. It's R A N K I N E. I don't know that scale. I only know That's Kelvin. A, apparently, Kelvin. this is the Fahrenheit version of Kelvin. Why is there such a thing? I don't know. Oh, I see. Because it starts at zero and then it goes up to. So it starts. So zero is the only useful number it has, basically. Yes. Which is one more useful <laughs> number than Fahrenheit has. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so. <I know. laughs> Well, you know, Fahrenheit zero is the freezing point of oh, brine. Oh, I guess I guess that's true. I it's guess the freezing true. point of brine. Yeah, it's kind of useful. 
if you're in a briny area. If you if you are depending on brining to not freeze yeah. to survive. Yeah, no, that's probably probably it's a, a pretty good one. Scale. Yeah. So so attack rating plus equals to okay, we got that. Let's see if we can put that into our damage calculation real quick. So Oh it's um, Rankin. Or we're Renkin. Doing damage on trigger enter. Renkin. I'm going to create a new one. Duplicate. We're gonna do um uh what are we gonna call it? Player damage on trigger enter. I'm gonna start with this. This is gonna be change a bit as we do it, but I'm just gonna play around with it real quick to see if we can get this kind of working. So um we're gonna do um damage bonus and we're gonna call it 1.0. Don't forget to change the class name. Oh yeah, thank you. I wish it was called Classy Class. Class Classy. Classy Class extends class. Mm -hmm. Player wait, damage. Classy, class, classy, wait. <laughs> Classier Class extends <laughs> Classy Class. Ah. <laughs> All right, so... Because you can't have... I don't think you can have a class named Class, so... So float damage amount, and then we're going to make our little equation here equals... Um, Oh, we don't have a defense rating to work work against. Is this the player receiving damage or yeah? This is a bad name damage. for it. This is this is the player dealing damage. This is a really bad name for it. Um, damage. Um, Wait, why don't we just have it be? Enemy damage on trigger enter. Well, why does it even have to be an enemy or a player? The, the yeah. object that has the collider, we're gonna have to get the yeah get a, a level script or something from that. Cal and enemies and players are both gonna have that. and apply damage on trigger enter. <laughs> sure. Sure. Save. Play. All right. So um. Actually, I think we're going to have to pass uh, some kind of a damage type. Yeah, if we do damage types. So we're not doing damage types, so... No, I, oh. mean, I mean a class oh, I see. of type yeah. damage. <laughs> oh. Because otherwise we're not going to know what skill or whatever used yeah, it, and we're not yeah. going to be able to calculate if we're modifying... Yeah, I'm not even going to bother with trying to do this. Uh, I'm going to undo the changes. Oh, wait, I didn't have to undo anything. This is a new file, so I'm just going to make it compile, and then we're going to call it, call it good. Well, this won't compile, actually. Make it compile. All right, and uh, it's 9.30, so we're going to call it. And save, save project. Let's go ahead and check this stuff in while we're here. Um... Prepping for damage calculation systems. Added new lines. So Added many lines. So lines. many lines. Just please put too so many, many. Too many lines. Too many lines. No, so many lines. So many <laughs> lines. Line. Ah, that was so many line. So, so much many wow. line. <laughs> much wow. In the future, you can never have too, too many, many lines. lines. Of cocaine. All right. So, um, no, I didn't say that, but I did. But it was wasn't really that funny. So I it was funny. What were we doing, Just Face? Thank you, thank you for showing up for the show. This is awesome, and I love you guys. We already did our. Pitch. I also so love buy, you guys. Buy his game. Hey, buy that game thing. You know what you should do? I'm gonna I'm gonna take the reins. You I'm take gonna the say reins. You should follow Max on Twitter at Dragfire. Follow Max. Fire, yeah. Don't follow Max on Twitter because I have no idea. Yeah. Who is Max on Twitter? I wonder. D R A K F Y R E. I'm yeah. going to be like, you stole my name. And then Max. you should follow me on Twitter. Magma Lemur. Magma Lemur. M A G M A L E M U R. That's right. Magma Lemur. Follow Dragfire on Twitter. Follow Magma Lemur. You couldn't see my finger, but I was doing stuff. But before you do those things, run. Don't walk. To the nearest computer. Unless you're holding scissors, then you Unless swap. you're holding scissors, in which case, please put the scissors down. I really don't want you to stab yourself in the face. But d don't, don't run with scissors. But then, once you put the scissors down, run and don't walk to Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash cookingwithunity. 
donate to Cooking with Unity. If for some reason you have, like, scissor hands, then just go ahead and walk. Unfortunately, you're going to have to use your face to type. Or your feet. Your face or your feet. Yeah. Get a typing nose or something. Why don't you just have scissor appendages, like, including <laughs> your head? Well, then I don't think you'd really have to worry about impaling yourself oh, with okay. scissors. Okay. That's in that the sequel, point. right? Edward yeah, Scissor Feet. Maybe. <laughs> Edward Scissor Face. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, do all those things. <laughs> Donate patreon.com oh, slash cooking with buy unity. My game. Buy his game, your robo alone is awesome. And um and yeah. B O T A L O N E. It's a game. Patreon. Um Patreon. All right. Yeah. See you guys. Have a great one. I'll catch you tomorrow with more Breakfast with Unity, and we'll catch you Thursday with more of this scape awesomeness. So Bye bye. Bye. See you later. <laughs>